I hope he's paying you extra. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you're all right. I'm not shopping. I just felt you didn't say what you came to say this morning to my Shelley. Well, it wasn't anything, really. No? No. I just got the feeling you were more upset than you were letting on. I may not know you as well as my daughter does, and you've probably got a mother of your own to talk to, but if you want to borrow somebody else's, I'm sorry, you don't need this when you're busy. You got a kettle in here anywhere? No, well, I'm working. One point. No, half a point. I didn't even know you knew that phrase. Of course they do, the girls use it. No, not round here, they don't. Pints and chasers. My sort of women. Oi, look, I thought it's so neat you wanted. What are you doing? I mean, you're messing about already, or what? You sound like me, Dad. You respect that young lady. And so you should. And so we will. Once I've won our back. Kieran, she's not a competition. Of course she's not. But what the boy wants, the boy gets. Oh, no. You know, I would love to wipe that smile off his face. Look, just be grateful he's in and she's at work. I heard you were back. Don't be like that. I come in peace. You have a half, Peter? Yeah, look, I'll tell you what, shall I get him a pint? Go on, it's lonely. Good man. man. It won't be a sec. Does nobody smile around here? Stop giving him what he wants. Shall I not? Uh -oh. you... Come on, come on. What are you doing here? Having a lunch break. Yeah, well, lunch breaks are busy. People are on their breaks. So I don't get one. No, of course you do. I'm just concerned that the shop's closed at its peak time. Well, there's nobody in. Yeah, well, maybe not now, no. Well, but... far be it from me to take five minutes to clear my head. Obviously, I should be putting your profits first. Yeah. Now, don't go chasing or ignoring her wishes, remember? You know, I don't know if I can take much more of this. Peter hey, tells me you're Shelley's mother. No, I can't believe that. I'd hide you down for her sister. No, I'm a mother. Her sister's dead. Oh, you can. Well, thanks. I was prison. OK, for a holiday, but, you know, you wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> we'll finish this meeting another time. We'll start it then and all, will we? Oh, no! But you do have a good Peter, please, don't let him worm round you. Not this time. Well, look, he's not going to. I mean it, Peter. My mum looks like she's falling for him. Sunita's in bits, and I've got visions of him turning up at my wedding as your best man. Just trust Peter, me. Peter, can I get you another? Uh, no, you're all right, Dad. Let me get these. Kieran, come here, mate. I'm talking to the lady. Yeah, uh, another beer. The lady will wait. Right, look, uh, I want you to hear this and all, OK? Now, this wedding we've got coming up, for me, I reckon this is going to be the most important day of my life. I'm putting all my mistakes behind me and I'm looking to the future with the right person next to me, OK? So, I just... What I want is for us to all know where we stand. You're practising your speech. So, OK, Dad, will you be my best man? Me? Yeah. But I thought you'd want to... No, I don't. Uh... No, no. No, I mean, Kieran, yeah, me and you go back a long way, mate, but you've not really been there, you know, to support me in the relationship Michelle like my dad has, so... So there we go. Right, can we get them drinks then? Same again? Yeah. Oh, no, what's he doing back? 